All right, now we're going to turn to the post game trouble in the tunnel that is making headlines. Witnesses say University of Michigan players were assaulted after Saturday's rivalry game with Michigan State. Four Michigan State players are now suspended. One Michigan player has retained a lawyer. And the question now is, will there be criminal charges? 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette went in search of answers. As both football programs condemn the violence that took place here at the Big House following Saturday's game, a former prosecutor is now spelling out what could come from a police investigation. It's the kind of footage that's led to both disappointment and disgust being expressed by coaches, athletic directors, and school presidents for both MSU and U of M. The video shows, you know, four, five, six on one, and four, five, six on another. I can't imagine that this will not result in criminal charges. We're not here to make any excuses for the behaviors Saturday. They are unacceptable. We're deeply sorry to both universities. Following Saturday's game win by the University of Michigan, as several Michigan State players have already been suspended, we've now learned Wolverine Jermon Green has hired an attorney and plans to proceed with pressing charges after video emerged showing him being struck repeatedly with a helmet by a Spartan player. This ugly incident now under investigation by campus police who say the investigation is ongoing. As coach Jim Harbaugh says, an apology is not enough. That's felonious assault. That's using a dangerous object in a deadly way to a, a guy that has his head exposed. Legal expert and former prosecutor Todd Flood says he has no doubt this video depicts a criminal act and it's possible others participating here could also be held criminally responsible. Michigan football coach Jim Harbaugh initially alluding to two players being hurt, one possibly with a broken nose, another also injured. That's a criminal act. When I take a helmet, and I swing it at your head, right? Imagine the damage you can do to that person. You can kill that person. So far, the Michigan team has also not suggested any plan to change a 100-year-old tradition in the tunnel that's recently led to members of both teams passing through around the same time, even despite a separate issue with Penn State the previous weekend. In the meantime, some students on both campuses sharing their disbelief. I just think we like need to be a team and uh, not do that kind of stuff. I didn't like seeing it as an MSU student, for sure. I would say it would be a physical assault, yeah. The strikings were very hard, very real, so I do think yeah. it can be considered as a criminal act. We've also reached out to the prosecutor's office here in Washtenaw County for comment, but so far they are declining, citing an ongoing investigation. From Ann Arbor, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. All right.